Imagine a time when people thought microbes, invisible to the naked eye, were born from rotting matter. That was the widespread belief until the 1850s, a time when the theory of spontaneous generation dominated scientific and medical circles. Then, along came Louis Pasteur, who flipped this theory on its head and revolutionized our understanding of microbes. Pasteur, initially working for a brewing company, was tasked with solving the mystery of why beer turned sour. Armed with powerful new microscopes, he observed these tiny organisms and discovered that they were the culprits behind the souring alcohol. He also found that these microbes existed in the air and were destroyed by heat. His observations led him to propose that germs, not rotting matter, were the source of microbes. This was the birth of the germ theory in 1861. Yet Pasteur didn't stop there. He ventured to suggest that these germs were the cause of diseases. By 1865, he had proven this, but determining which microbes caused which diseases remained a challenge. At first, Pasteur's germ theory didn't make much of a splash in British medicine. After all, his work was primarily for the brewing industry. It wasn't until 1878, when he published Germ Theory and its application to medicine, that doctors and medical scientists started to take notice. However, the deeply ingrained theories of spontaneous generation and miasma made it difficult for many to accept Pasteur's revolutionary ideas. But with time, the germ theory brought about a seismic shift in our understanding of illnesses and led to significant advances in medical treatment, surgery and public health provisions. It underscored the profound impact science can have on medicine. The germ theory spurred investment in public health provisions, as it was now proven that diseases were caused by germs in the air and water. Surgery saw advancements too, with Joseph Lister swiftly applying the germ theory to his procedures. Scientists began to search for magic bullets to destroy disease-causing microbes in the body, with the first one being developed by Paul Ehrlich in 1909. Furthermore, Robert Koch became the first scientist to identify a microbe causing a specific disease, paving the way for the development of vaccinations. The germ theory also led to increased investment in scientific medical research, with more governments and businesses willing to pour money into scientists, equipment and research projects. In essence, Pasteur's germ theory fundamentally changed our understanding of diseases and their causes, leading to significant advancements in medical treatments and public health. It's a testament to the transformative power of science in medicine.